here with the John Easter 5 and 0 with five knockouts. He's a knockout artist. He's an assassin. They call him the Candyman. Why do they call you the Candyman? Um, Candyman, because every time I box is really sweet, and when I fight, I give the crowd a sugar rush. I've seen, I've seen a few of your fights now, and it looks like uh, you've got a variety of punches. But one of them, the left hook. Yeah, how, um, you know, where, 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 what are your power shots? How do you like to finish opponents? Is it like you kind of just sense which shot to throw at the right time? Or have, have you, are you developing a signature shot now? Well, as a knockout artist, I usually paint a picture and I close the show. When did you first uh, meet Floyd Mayweather? Um, when I first started boxing. I was young. But you... I've, been, I've been looking up to Floyd for as long as I can remember. And, you know, it's just a, a great mentor. So you're 21 years old now. When do you think you met him for the first time? Did you say it was 16? 15. 15. 15. And you've recently signed with Mayweather Promotions as well. I've been I've been under the Mayweather Boxing Club since I started boxing. So yeah. I've been. It's already been in the air. I already knew it. we already everybody had an understanding. I'm not going nowhere else. I was born and raised in this gym. First jab, first left hook, first time knocking somebody out was in this gym. Oh. Born and raised near the boxing club. What did it? What, how did you feel when you first knocked someone out in, 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 in this gym? How did it feel? What were your emotions? It was something that is addicting. Yeah. <laughs> And um, how, how, how much of a role has Floyd played uh, in, in your career so far? And like, well, what sort of advice has he been giving you, you know, in and around these kind of rings that we've got right here in the Mayweather gym in Chinatown? Um, more so anything. I can come to him about anything, ask him anything, you know. He's a, he plays a big role in my life. And a lot of people don't give him his props for how amazing he is and how much he helps out. Floyd is then... He doesn't, I don't feel as if he receives enough credit for all the great things that he does. One of the things that I keep writing about is it just seems like a big part of Floyd's legacy and really Ben Adelaby is just their talent identification when it comes to young fighters, you know, like yourself and even younger with Kermel and Robert Mer Merriweather. Yeah. Do you feel like you've got the, you, in this gym, do you feel like you've got the baddest squad of young boxers in the world? Oh yeah, we're definitely the number one. We're, nobody can see us. Anybody from any part of the world, any gym, anywhere, we're the best. You'd go gym for gym with anyone? That's what we've been doing. Yeah. And uh, have, when, when was your last fight? I, my last fight was um, June 17th in Mexico. And you want, you want to come out again uh, this year? Do you, have you got a fight lined up or do you want to get... You training? I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for my team the next to one. tell me. You know. Yeah. And how do you feel about like? Uh, I mean, I've been in this gym for the last few hours. There's a lot of there's a lot of like young studs just training. You know, I've seen you like Kermel. I mean, we Robert. all grew up together. Yeah, this, this is the family. This we've been y'all just now seeing it, but we've been doing this our whole life. We've been doing this for years. Did you see um, Kermel's debut? I was there. That's, as a matter of fact, me and Kermel been training alongside each other since I started boxing. Yeah. And then along the way we became best friends. Do you feel like the hype is real? It's no hype. This is reality. Yeah. Kamel is the truth. What do you see when you see Kamel? What do you see in him in sparring and training that you know maybe I don't see or even fans don't see? You know, fans I suppose might have only seen him for 90 seconds in that first round knockout he scored uh, on the Canelo Chamel Charlo show. What do you see in well, the gym? As, as Floyd said, the hard work and dedication that requires to be put in the gym. Kamel is one of the hardest workers that I know and like I said we've been training alongside of each other since I began boxing so that made that's how I got so good within a short time time span that I've been boxing because training alongside Camille we have the same trainer you know same team same family what division are you in? Is it 160? I fight at 160. But my last fight was at 168, so yeah. either or. I like 168 a lot, but I feel as like if at 160, um, I have more advantage with my body size. Who, who, who are your favorite middleweights in, in boxing history? Gerald McCullen. Yeah. Julian Jackson. And then I like Roy Jones, of course. You like the knockout eyes. Of course, yeah. that's what I am. Yeah. You know? And if ever, I'm not saying I'll knock everybody out because of reality. It hasn't been a career like that, but and until until they stop trying to go to sleep, they'll be going to sleep. But you more the story, they'll be going out for no time. For a long time from now, you'll continue to see knockouts. That's what I mean. What do you think about the middleweight division right now? Because it kind of seems like it's in a bit of a state of flux, Man, maybe. You like... know what is really missing at the moment? Myself. It's really missing me right now because the world needs a personality. 
it just needs me. You know, it's perfect timing. God don't make mistakes. Perfect. This is the John Easter, the Mayweather gym. Appreciate yes, you. TMT. Five and oh, five knockouts. One of my secret weapons. 160. On his way soon. He's rising up. Watch out for it. My God. Let's go.